Hey, good afternoon guys. Tush coming at you. It's uh, Wednesday, December the 20th. Just coming up to 1 p.m. Yeah, a little late today. Had to run some chores, do some grocery shopping, make some chicken noodle soup. Got uh, crazy less feeling a little under the weather, so I'm going to make them some soup for today. Anyway, uh, back on the TR250 this morning and we're going to finish up welding this flange on the inside. So it's going to be a little tricky. Um, I wasn't really successful in getting inside the uh, engine uh, compartment yesterday, so at least comfortably. So we're going to try to weld this while I'm sort of standing on a milk crate and bending over. So not the most comfortable welding position, but I think it can be done. So just giving the welding helmet a good uh, clean so we can see what we're doing and uh, that should help us out uh, to get uh, this done this morning or this afternoon. So we'll get on the way. All right, here goes nothing. Alright guys, so the welding is done on the inside and outside of that uh, top piece of flange. So now we'll break out the uh, angle grinder and uh, grind that down smooth. Uh, at least on the inside we want to make sure it, makes look, uh, it looks good. On the outside we're not too concerned, but uh, we'll grind it as flush as we can without making it too thin. Alright guys, quarter to six and uh, not a lot of progress to report, but I'm happy to say that we've got uh, that flange looking uh, pretty good now. There's a few areas I still need to uh, do some grinding on and a little bit more uh, welding. Um, mostly at the seams uh, where I've joined that uh, center panel. But uh, for the most part I think it looks pretty good. So maybe what I'll do is I'll throw the fender up there so you can have a, a look and see uh, how it looks with the fender attached and how much of a gap we have now between the, uh, between the flange and the uh, top of the fender. We'll see how even it is. Alright guys, we've got the, uh, the fender on now and I have to say I'm uh, pretty pleased with the fit. It uh, looks 100% uh, better than it did uh, prior to when I started this repair. So uh, yeah, the flanges are pretty even with the top of the uh, outside fender the whole way along. There's one area that I'm not happy with and that's just right there. That's where the uh, panel join was. It's a little bit lower there but it's something I can live with. And uh, this actually drop a little bit at the, at the nose because this needs to be pushed down to uh, connect to the front valence down here. So overall I think it's pretty good. So I think we can call that job done. Like I said there's a few more little welding repairs and some grinding to be done. But other than that we're going to call it done so we can move on to some other area of the car. 
I think that other area will be uh, probably the wheel well. I think I noticed a couple areas of rust on the uh, the wheel arch that we're going to take care of. And I want to take a look at this uh, front valence uh, section as well because I noticed there's some rusted areas there as well. So that'll be the next job. So we'll uh, pull that fender off and we'll have a look. All right, guys, we're having a look at the uh, front of the car. Uh, this is the lower uh, valence here. And uh, you can see I've got, you know, a few holes here. And I was trying to determine if these holes were actually required. Same with this hole here. You can also see I've got some damage on the, uh, on the wheel well as well here. And I've got some more rust through here. So those two areas are going to need to be addressed as well. So this is the closing plate for the front fender. And it fits something like this. Basically like that and this gets welded to the uh, front fender. I'll show you that in a second. So I can tell by the way this fits that this hole is required and this hole is not. So we're going to do a repair here on this hole. This hole down here is required as well but apparently um, I'm missing the bottom of this bracket and I'll show you what this looks like on the good fender I have. Thank God I've got that other uh, good TR4 fender to, to reference because this uh, front of this fender is kind of messed up. Anyway, these are supposed to be two captive nuts in here. I can see that I've got one captive nut in there, but I'm not getting a captive nut in here. So I think I've got some from my TR3. I just need to find them, and I think I'll actually weld a captive nut back in here and maybe try to replace this one here while we're here so we don't have any more trouble with that. Anyway, let me take you to uh, have a look at the fender, and I'll show you what, needs to, what work needs to be done on the front fender as well. All right, here's that uh, closing piece I was just showing you for the uh, fender. And here is the fender that it came off of. And I'll just drop it back into where it was uh, ground off of. It goes something like that. So that basically helps with the fitment of the front fender. Now, without knowing, I mean, I've got a good fender to reference. I'm actually missing something down the bottom here. And I'll show you that in just a second. Actually, I'm missing more than a couple of things. I'm actually missing some holes down here as well, or at least one hole is uh, being eaten away. So we'll have to replace that. Anyway, so this bracket here, have a look at this on my good fender. So uh, I'm missing this kind of thing up here. I haven't got a really defined flange, it's just got an opening here. So I've got to actually make this more defined and repair this section. And as we go down, I can see there's actually a captive nut here on the bottom, which would be this end. So basically it would be this end. I'm missing the whole bottom of this bracket on this other fender. So I've got to repair this to make it look like that. So, oh, and there's the other hole that I'm missing on this fender. So I've got to repair this flange probably the whole way along to make it look something like that. Anyway, some, some work on the fenders coming up as well, but I think we'll start with uh, doing the front of the car. Sorry for the light. So I think we'll work on this little area up here. The whole reason I'm doing this whole area is to get the front fender bolted up through every bolt hole. <laughs> so it's taking me a, a while to get to that point. So, you know, with all the, the sill repairs that had to be done, the A-post repairs that had to be done, um, all of the flange work that had to be done, now we're going to work on the front of the car. Obviously, uh, that needs to be done. Um, so we're getting there. It's just taking a while. And this is all to get this fender bolted up through every bolt hole that's on the fender. Uh, we did some work down there obviously on the uh, inner flange as well so yeah we've done a ton of work just to be able to bolt this fender to the car properly. Guys so here's the first area we're gonna cut out over here and hopefully we don't get into any nightmares here but anyway we're gonna cut this whole section out all the way up to the top here and uh, we'll replace this whole flange area and then we'll uh, obviously uh, with the new flange we'll close this hole up and then we'll drill a hole where it should be for that uh, fender mount. So that's the first job we want to do. So let's uh, break the little Dremel out and we'll cut that area out and uh, we'll bring it back. So as per my usual luck with this car, um, the inner uh, flange is also rusted away. So now this is going to be a two-piece patch. So I've got to cut out this uh, piece behind, which is the, uh, the front valence piece here. So we've got to cut this out off the front and replace it and then we're going to actually make the other part over top of it. So two-parter, uh, about to proceed cutting this other piece out so I can find something good to weld to. Alright, here's where we're at. So we've got the inner and outer flanges cut 
and I've just cut a patch for the inner. I've left, uh, I've cut down the outer a little bit below the inner. So this is the inner here by my finger. This is the inner up here. So I've created this patch that goes something like this to go in there. So we'll, we'll weld that in to create the inner and then we will make the outer patch to go over top of that. So obviously the outer is going to be plug welded. So whatever we make, we're going to drill the holes for the plug welds. We'll plug weld it to the inner. Making progress. All right, guys, there's the new inner flange welded in. So uh, we're going to work on the outer flange now. And I'm hoping that I have enough gas in the MIG welder to get this done. It seems to be uh, short on puff. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to get this last patch done, then we'll call it a night. Didn't get a lot of work accomplished today, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to fix this piece up at least. And then we can move on to this lower area and these wheel arches tomorrow once we get some more welding gas. But anyway, let's make this patch and hopefully we can get it uh, welded in tonight. All right, we just uh, zinc primed the uh, flange and we've uh, zinc primed the back of the piece. We're just about to weld in there. So uh, anyway, as soon as that uh, primer dries, we'll uh, tack that in there. Well, guys wasn't meant to be. Unfortunately, we're out of gas. I'm actually uh, secretly hoping that I'd be uh, running out of gas because I want to uh, head out tomorrow and uh, do some errands and that will include uh, getting probably both tanks of gas filled up for the MIG welder. It's um, the hours of the uh, stores are a little spotty over the holidays so I figure I better go get some welding gas because I don't want to be running out on uh, on Boxing Day which is the day after Christmas for example nothing uh, I don't want to actually go to any stores, but the welding uh, shop will definitely be closed probably for most of the uh, most of the holidays. So uh, we'll make sure we have welding gas and welding wire. Those are the only two things that can really stop us. So uh, we'll also uh, give this garage a good uh, cleaning. It is an absolute mess out here. It's a disaster. So we'll do that tomorrow as well. We'll also, while we're out, we'll hit the uh, big box stores like Canadian Tire up here in Home Depot and uh, we'll pick up some more supplies. Running short on uh, grinding discs and running short on Dremel discs. So we'll make sure we uh, stock up on those before the holidays hit as well. So that's it for tonight guys. We'll uh, get out here, like I said, tomorrow. Probably not bright and early. We'll probably run errands in the morning make sure those are out of the way. Anyway, we had a good day today. Uh, didn't get a lot done, but we got done what we wanted to get done. So that's always a good thing. And we've started on a new area. So we'll finish that up tomorrow and uh, we'll see you then. Thanks for watching.